When President Moon took to the podium to deliver that message, his audience comprised of some of the most influential figures in that country. That stage, after all, is reserved exclusively for world leaders that can provide important viewpoints on major international issues. Kuruni fills us in on the significance of the Singapore lecture. Since 1980, more than 40 distinguished leaders around the world deliver their insights at the Singapore lecture. The speech is prepared by the Yusuf Ishak Institute of Southeast Asian Studies in Singapore, which aims to nurture scholars and intellectuals in the country. At the Singapore lecture, the audience is offered with the opportunity to learn about the country where the speaker is from, including socio-political and economic trends, national security problems, and environmental issues. Regular participants include member of the civil service, business community, and academic field. In particular, the event has allowed young executives in both the public and private sectors to widen their perspectives. South Korean President Moon Jae-in, who delivered his remarks regarding peace on the Korean Peninsula on Friday, became the 42nd foreign head of state to meet the Singaporean audience. Moon is the second South Korean leader to stand at the Singapore lecture podium. The late former President Kim Dae-jung addressed the distinguished audience in 2000. Kim's lecture was about the importance in bringing peace on the Korean Peninsula and East Asia. The late leader also explained the results of one of the biggest achievements during his administration, the first ever inter-Korean summit held in June 2000 in Pyongyang. Other notable speakers to deliver their insights at the Singapore lecture include Chinese President Xi Jinping, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, and former French President Francois Hollande. Koruni, Arirang News.